I'm super tired today. Not only were I up late, but it's daylight savings or daylight reverse savings. I forget which which one you'd call it, but it's the time when you spring forward. So we lost an hour. So instead of being, it is nine in the morning, but it's really eight in the morning. <laughs> My body still thinks it's eight in the morning. So I am dead tired right now, but we're gonna still go for this walk. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna bring you lots of stuff. Last day here at Dice Tower West and it's gonna be amazing. Well, I'm in the lobby here waiting for people. There is no one at these chairs. There is no one here. In fact, the ballroom is like almost empty. I think it's because it's so early in the morning when you take daylight savings into account or, or the spring forward version of daylight savings. Uh, I don't know. The problem is, are we saving daylight now? Not really, because we sprung forward. Or are we? Yes, because we sprung forward. I'm not sure. I forget. I don't know exactly how daylight savings works. Maybe you guys could tell me about it in the comments. But for now, it might be a walk by myself, but if so, I'm gonna power walk, be done quicker so I can play more games. So, yes. Well, I'm back in my Dice Tower gear, as you can see. Um, nice workouts here. I hope that I burned off all of these ridiculous things that we did. I'm gonna go up now and see the um, virtual flea market or the flea market or whatever is going on. So let's, let's see what's going on over there and check out this cool event. I don't know how much trading is going on, but it'll be very interesting to see. Well, here's the flea market. Um, it's kind of interesting. This guy just kind of took seats in the middle of the thing. Oh, okay. These guys kind of took the fancy tables. Look at this. They took the fancy tables here. Um, and kind of a group. But then other people took circular tables, as you can see. Someone took our podium. They figured that they would sell stuff up on our podium. It's very interesting. I mean, I've never seen a flea market where people just kind of use seats and other things. It's a very interesting way to do it. But uh, we have here the front end table flea market, as you can see. And there's even more on the other half. Um, <laughs> This looks like the biggest table of stuff. This person has a lot of stuff that they're selling. And it's just a really interesting flea market. We've been marveling at the different tables here. Some people have tables, some people are using chairs. It's a really interesting way to do a flea market. Say everything was full, but now they're... Starting to clear out a lot. The birds came through, I guess. Yep. <laughs> And here's the end of it. As you can see, let's go through and see what else there is. Lots of stuff from the flea market, as you can see, which is pretty cool. It looks like people have like half tables, half and half, which is kind of cool. And I see all sorts of all sorts of old games, new games, mythic battles is pretty new. Lots of things in this flea market, which is pretty cool. Well, I think this is the whole flea market. So, oh, and someone who's flea marketing promos, it looks like. Yep. In case you didn't know, they have promos here. We got the team game. Or the solo game? Yep. Sold out of the team game. No, I know how the solo game works. I, I, yes. I, I got the I got the breath build calendar. I know how it all works. Yep. We opened it. If you saw us, me and Tom opened it on uh, for the 25 days of Christmas. So we know all about breath spiel. Um, so there you go. Here's someone selling the breath spiel catalog in pieces. Um, but this is our flea market. Lots of different things. Lots of cool things that you can find here in this room. Um, and it's a pretty good flea market, I'd say. So that's what you can see here is lots of flea market stuff. Now I'm gonna go back downstairs and see some gaming and see what else is going on. Well, being a Sunday, as you can see, the room is a little less full than usual. That usually happens on the last day of a convention, but it is still pretty full. Maybe not the front areas here, but in general, most of it's full, so. It's a typical, typical convention, um, mostly full tables. It's the last day, still a lot of gaming going on. 
So we'll see what's happening here, but uh, we have about two to three hours to go until we wrap up. I'm gonna go see some of the publishers. They're all clearing out. You can see everything is clearing out. Publishers are clearing out. Um, the uh, room is emptying out, and um, we're we've had a good convention. It's been an amazing time. A few more hours of gaming. Once the library closes, people can play games all night. They're just gonna play their own as usual, like most of our conventions. But we're pretty happy. So I. Uh, I think this was a successful convention. So, I found our other winner. You won two tickets and a room to yep. play Saracon in Orlando this summer. Yep. How excited are you? I was very excited. I never won anything, so yeah. <laughs> More excited than that, come on. You're going, you're going to Disney. Oh, not, no, never. Never going to Disney. What no. do you mean, never going to Disney? Universal is better. Universal yeah. Harry Potter? Yeah. You're, you're going to Universal yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to play board games. That's way better than any of those. So, and, yeah. then, and then you can make a Universal trip out of it, too. There you go. There you which go. Yeah. isn't covered by us, by the way. Yeah. Oh, what? It's, uh, it Tom is a good time. Tom told me you were taking me. That's what I, you know. Uh, <laughs> I saw him last I'm night. I'm going to have to go find yeah. Tom and see what's going on here. But hmm. Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking? She's in the back like, what? Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll see. But you'll love it. Orlando's amazing. Yep. Amazing place. And we're looking forward to having you out there this yeah, summer. I'm looking forward to being there. Yeah. So, yeah. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Well, I found Dave, the other organizer of the convention. Um, how, do, how do you think things went? We're cleaning up the library now. I thought it went pretty well. It was a very successful first event. I know. It was great. Library went great. I'm, people are turning in the games. Um, there's still like half an hour or three minutes until um, people turn them in. But it was amazing. You guys did a great job putting this together. We we loved it. You know, We're looking forward to next year. It's going to be great. That's what I keep hearing. Everybody keeps saying they're looking forward to next year. So we must have done something right, right? Yep. You guys did an amazing job. This has been an amazing convention. We're so excited for next year. And it's only going to get bigger and better each year as we go. All right. Thank you. Well, as you can see, our games are being packed in the Dice Tower suitcase, smartphone, wingspan, magnet storm, the hottest of the hot, Mayolica. Kenny's taking care of it as usual. Um, we've got some stuff that is going to go into the library. Um, a bunch of stuff that we found. Russian Railroads, we have a copy now for the library. Um, but yeah, this is our hot games, and we are bringing them back to Miami very shortly. Well, here we are, Dice Tower West Library. Going back to Meepleville, um, Tim, Tim's handling everything, but here we go, the last couple of games all set up. Pretty exciting. Well, here we go in the U-Haul. We're going to Meepleville. In case you haven't seen Tim's store, we're gonna see Tim's store, Meepleville. Um, it's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing this and seeing Tim's store and seeing how it is. So we'll be out there in just a few minutes. So I'll uh, bring some footage when we get out to Meepleville. Well, here we are at Meepleville. Um, I'm gonna go inside. As you can see, it's the um, Vegas's first board game cafe. It's a store and a cafe. Um, Meepleville. It's you know it's it's just off the strip. It's actually in a nice area. It's pretty close to get to. So let's let's go in the store and 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 see how the cafe is. I'm I'm very excited. I've never actually been here to Meepleville, so I'm very excited to see what it's like in here. So I see a sales section right as you walk in. Um, with lots of stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, there's, oh, there's a lot of stuff for sale here. Look at this, there's, this, this whole side looks like a store, so this is pretty cool. Um, and uh, I think on, and ooh, hate, it came out. And then I, so yeah, a nice store, which is pretty cool. Oh, and I see all these old Avalon Hill games here. Look at this. I don't know if these are for sale or not, but all these old Avalon Hill games, this is really cool. Um, and there's an SPI game. This is this looks like my house almost with all the old, all those old games. Avalon Hill like made some really great games back in the day, and the fact that they're all here is really really cool. Um, and it looks like here's the cafe part of the of the store where you could get all sorts of things. Um, really, really like this. Um, I see ice cream sandwiches and Italian ices and lots of cool things. This is pretty cool. Um, and uh, let's go and see the rest of the store here. This looks like the section where you can check out games because these games all look, all look 
like you can check them out. So this is the checkout section, which is pretty cool. Um, it goes back here. We're still in one half of the store. The other half looks like the seating, but in this half, there is some cool stuff. So let's uh, go to the other side and see what's over there now. So the other side of the store, when you come through, after you come here, we have um, the actual gaming store. And this is, wow, this is really big. And it looks really cool. Um, so as you can see here, there's lots of, uh, lots and lots and lots of uh, table space. And it looks like there's little alcove tables here. And, oh, look at this. There's a crokinole board here. This is some really cool stuff in this in the store. It's amazing. And uh, I really like the way this is laid out. It's an amazing store. Lots and lots of shelves with games. And uh, <laughs> if we go to the other side over here, yep. As you see, the whole world loves Meekville, and I love it too. And I, I just noticed when you walk between the sections, that is a giant meeple doorway. That doorway is a meeple. That is really cool. So I'm going to come around the corner though, because over here there's even more gaming tables. There is a lot of gaming tables and gaming areas over here. This is um, the rest of his store. Lots and lots of games, as you can see. And you can see there's some empty sections right now, and that's mostly because those were the games that were over at our Dice Tower West. So these games are all kind of, some of them were taken out because of it, but this is a nice big gaming section here, which is really cool. And I really think that this store is, is incredible. And hopefully if you guys come out for Dice Tower West next year, you'll also uh, come here to Meepleville and uh, join us for some games. And of course, <laughs> as you know, Tim, it would be nothing without the yellow room. Look at this. This room is all yellow. Um, it's the it's literally the yellow room with all sorts of cool yellow things, titanium wars, um, all like these giant. These are the ones that you would see like at the conventions. They have these, and he's got a bunch of these convention hanging banners here and. They painted the whole room yellow, which fits perfectly with what Tim does with them as well. This is this is really really cool. How do you guys like the store? I, I think the store is incredible. It's a great place. It's a, got a yellow room. I know, but you're not playing a yellow game. You're playing Catan. What's going on? <laughs> well, this store is really cool. As you can see, I'm in the giant meeple and. Uh, I dig it here. I guess now we're gonna bring in the rest of the game library and then head back to the convention center and the Westgate, but for now, welcome from Meepleville, or welcome to Meepleville, and uh, amazing store, amazing place. So I found something really cool. Um, as you can see here, Dungeons and Dragons, but look at this. They have the original books. These are the original, original books before it even came in a box. This is some really cool stuff that we're looking at here. This is pretty amazing to see stuff like this. And if you didn't know what TSR stood for, Tactical Studios Studies Rules. So that's what TSR actually stands for. Pretty cool stuff. So I didn't know this about Tim until today. And not only does he run an amazing game con, but all those games I was telling you about, all those Allen Hill games and stuff early in the video, this is your this is your collection and to me that's amazing because that's the kind of stuff that i grew up on and it's amazing to see those kind of games and to see people who like those kind of games it's just go. incredible and uh so when did you start collecting i'm just curious oh uh well all my life more the tv game shows but not these i told you like i bought this collection yeah but the tv stuff you collected tv games yep. are cool like they all are. the all the old tv shows that had board games back in the day mm -hmm. yeah i love it it's just it's it's so nice like collecting is one of the cool things in this hobby and sure just, is. Yep. to see all that is great and uh so what did you think of the con overall did you have a good, good yeah we had it it was good i think everybody was happy and we're happy it was you know the first year of the joint venture and uh so we're real happy i think it went amazing i think Everyone had a good time. If you guys didn't come this year, come in future years, I think it's gonna 
increase in attendance next year, right? It is, yep. So it's going to increase in attendance. So if you guys didn't come, you should come. It's amazing. Dice Tower yes. West, Vegas is as Make sure when tickets go on sale, buy a ticket because it will probably sell out again. It will. It will sell out pretty quick. It, yep. it sold out in what, like a few hours? Yep, yep. It sold out in a few hours, and we then we opened up a few more tickets later. Yeah. Um, this year, it's going to sell out pretty quick again. It, I think... I'd say it, everyone who came wants to come again. It was that I good. So. Yeah, absolutely. I, I truly believe so. And it's going to be amazing. Future cons are going to be amazing. It's just Dice Terror West was phenomenal. All right. Thank you, Jason. See you guys soon. Well, me and Kenny decided to go see Michael Jackson 1. Here we are. We're going in. It's all sparkly Michael Jackson-y. And here we go. Here we are at the show. And it's going to be pretty good, we think. So we're excited. Oh, Okay, so we saw Michael Jackson behind us. What do you think about this one? Uh, this one was good, but not as good as the last one. I think you had to do it with the seats. We were really far back. Almost binoculars back. <laughs> but you could see the whole stage. The stage set up, the energy was, I thought was even cooler than the, first, than the other one. Yeah, and it was, it was actually, this one, I think it had more performers in it. Yeah. And, uh, bigger stage, more going on. It's good. Yep, it's good. It was a thriller. <laughs> well, that's the end of it, as you can see. Heading back to Fort Lauderdale. Actually in Atlanta right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys enjoyed my coverage of Dice Tower West. It was an amazing first convention for us in Vegas. Everything about it was great. We had a good time. We had lots of people, lots of new people that we met, which to me was incredible. You know, you always... At, in Orlando, we see the same people again and again, but to see a lot of the West Coast people was a really nice experience, and you guys are all so friendly, and it was great to meet you all. And for those of you watching, you know, I'm just glad that you guys enjoy everything we do, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed all my coverage of this, and we're looking forward to seeing you at the next convention. For now, this has been Jason Levine, The Gaming Machine, from Dice Tower West.